I got this recipe from a lady called Bree, the plant lady. Uh, she shared her husband making these pizzas and I thought I would give it a try. They look so very yummy. Uh, because I'm making eight pizzas, I am going to be using a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, organic crushed tomatoes. Now, um, her husband, he used, and I will link the uh, video in the description box, but he used the pizza crust that you buy in the bag. I am not using that. I had purchased these, these uh, sham take and eat fresh pita bread, eight loaves. These are whole, whole wheat. I have used this in the past to make individual pizzas and I absolutely love using it. So I'm going to use that. Like I said, you can use the bag pizza dough or whatever type of pizza dough you have, even if you make your own. But in his video, he shared how he made his pizza with three ingredients. It was, well, let's say four. He used um, mushrooms, different color peppers and onions. And then he also used mozzarella cheese, those circle type. Um, I am not going to use a mozzarella cheese because I'm gonna use what I have on hand. Uh, a friend of mine told me about this brand at Aldi's and I thought I would give this a try. It's a white uh, it's called Vermont Seriously Sharp Cheddar Cheese. I love sharp cheddar cheese. She said this is really, really good, and she is an excellent cook, so I take her at her word. So that is what I'm going to use on my eight pizzas. After I get through uh, doing this, I will be putting my pizzas, uh, wrapping them up, and storing them in the freezer. So let's get started because this is just a can of crushed tomatoes. There is nothing else in this. So I've added some uh, garlic. You can see some little garlic pieces in there. Oh, and a little bit of uh, olive oil. And I'm just going to let that simmer for a little bit. Just putting a little bit of marinara or this uh, fresh tomato on the bottom of each pizza. I'm not going to do each one on the screen, just this one and show you how I finish it off. One of the tips that uh, Bree's husband gave was to have the oven as hot as possible when you are um, putting the pizza in with the sauce. Now, I know he used pizza, uh, pizza dough in a bag because mine is a pita and he left his in for about eight minutes. I'm going to leave mine in for just four. So you would normally, if you're using a pizza in a bag, pizza crust in a bag, just leave it in the oven with the sauce on top for about eight minutes. The main tip was put your oven on as high as it can get. The hotter the stove, the better. He put his on at 500, mine goes to 550. So I'm going to leave it in for four minutes, 550. I'm sauteing my onions, peppers, and mushrooms, and I'm just going to let the juices evaporate, and then I will place this on top of the pizza. Okay, I left the pizza in for about four minutes, and now I'm just placing this mixture on top with a slotted spoon. I 
I've also added that wonderful cheese on top and I will put this in for at least, cause it's already, it's already cooked. I'm just letting the cheese on the top of the pizza melt. So I'm gonna leave it in for five minutes, but not on 550. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the temperature down to 350. Okay, this pizza is finished and there are the rest of them. But this, what I love about pita bread is it's so nice and crispy. And you know how you like that crunch from a pizza, pizza dough. Um, well, I do, I don't like the soggy, you know, thick crust. I love the thin crust and I love it to be nice and crispy. And I find that to be how it is with this pita. Okay guys, I am going to try a slice of this pizza in the following. I'm gonna try a piece of this pizza and let you know what I think. Very, very, very good. C-A-B-O-T, it's a seriously sharp cheddar cheese, so good. So glad I didn't go with a different kind, especially since I already had it. But let me take one more bite. Mm. Very, very good. Now, what I love about using this uh, pita bread is so crunchy. I love crunchy pizzas. That's just me. That's, I mean, you can use what you want and your choice, but crunchy pizzas are my favorite. One more bite, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. If you love simple pizzas, this is very simple. Mushrooms, peppers, onions, cheese, that's it. It is so delicious and so easy and quick. I'm going to put all the rest of those pizzas in the freezer and when I have a taste for pizza, it's coming out. All right guys, thanks for watching and I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do and also leave me a comment and let me know if you tried, you know, if you've tried this after seeing this video and also check out uh, Bree's husband's, uh, I will leave it in the link, his video on this pizza. Very, very good. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.